Hi, my name is Dan Hazelton with Solid Rock Realtors, and I have a great place to show you that's located on the Neosho River. This is just a, a one bedroom, and it's 1,031 square feet. It's got lots of storage I'm gonna show you, and one of the probably more unique and a real sales point is it has its own boathouse and its own fishing dock. So we're gonna look real quick on what it looks like out here, and then I'm gonna take you down to the boathouse, and then we'll come back up and take a look around. Here we are down at the boathouse on the Neosho River. Now this boathouse, we'll show you inside in just a minute. You can pull your boat right on in there and put the door down and have it all closed up. And also we've got this fishing dock that's here. And uh, one of my favorite things is, of course I like to fish, I like to be on the water, is this view. And every time I'm out here, you can see lots of fish moving in here and it just makes me itch to want to get my fishing pole out. Next time I'm going to be out here, I'll have to get my fishing pole. Let's let you take a look around out here by the water. As we come around here, we'll give you a, a look into the boathouse. On each side are these uh, windows that open up. You could fish right out these windows if you want. Great place to put your boat. And you can look up and see where we came from, right up at the top. So let's head back onto the house so you can check well, it out. One more thing I wanted to show you before we go back up to the house. And uh, that is this little picnic area for you to use. It's got a little barbecue grill. And as we span around, you'll see the beautiful sights that you could see at your new house. Let's head on back up to the house. Well, we've made it back to the house, so let's head on inside and take a look. As we head in, you'll notice that there are two decks. There's this lower deck here where the barbecue grill is, and then there is the covered deck. The way they have it set up here is where you have a, could uh, eat outside here, do your cooking down there where it's not covered. On the outside here, I don't know if you saw it as we were coming in, but uh, it's got windows all across the front for your view, so that's super cool. So this is an enclosed area here. It's got heat and air, everything in this area, as well as the rest of the house. Now we'll head on into the kitchen. So for a small house, this is a good sized kitchen. Pretty good amount of counter space. It's got uh, some nice backsplash. They're gonna be leaving the refrigerator and the stove and built-in microwave. This is the master bedroom. It has a mini split for your heat and air. Plus in all the rooms we have propane gas heaters on the wall. Let's move on through the bathroom. Uh, as we go through the bathroom, you'll see it's got a shower. You'll also notice this is a combo utility room. So the stacking washer and dryer will stay also. And as we move around, we'll go into the living room. The living room has a wood burning stove. It has the insert that has an electric blower in it. Really a very nice size living room. Now we're gonna head out the back and check out some of the storage in the backyard area. This is not too confusing because we came out of the back of the house, but right now we're at the back of the property. What I want you to be able to see back here is this property goes from a, a road up front all the way to the back where there's a road here. Uh, it's gated. This could be a place that you might use for an RV. Uh, I talked to somebody who thought they might wanna build another structure back here. And, uh, and then rent out the front. 
Um, as we move towards the shed, you'll notice that there's a place to park your boat underneath here. And then we've got a big storage area that's 24 by 34. This is a place that um, in this area, they have some Airbnbs here already. So they would be used to an Airbnb and this would be a great location. In this storage area, if you're doing an Airbnb, this part here you might make into like a bunkhouse because the, the front is just a one bedroom. And then you could make some more bedrooms out here, which would be great income for the Airbnb. Also in the back right corner, I'm not gonna show that to you, but there is also an area where it's ready to be plumbed for a bathroom. So this is coming out the side. And then as we walk forward, you'll notice the view. This is what you'll be looking at from the, the front of your house, from the porch, is this nice park-like view. So uh, in addition to the 24 by 34 storage area, uh, we also have a container uh, that will stay here for storage, a, a big storage container like you see on trucks. And then we also have a shed here. So this place has a lot of possibilities whether you want to live here full time or if you want to come and make this your weekends place or maybe an Airbnb. Uh, my name is Dan Hazelton with Solid Rock Realtors. Be glad to show this place to you and uh, I think you might like it. Thanks for hanging out with us and God bless.